What is up everybody, it's King Kunta, and today I'm bringing you another gold farming video. Now today we're going to be farming a battle pet, and it's actually worth about 20 to up to 50k on any given server. Obviously you should probably check what server, the, the pet we're going to be farming is called the Tiny Crimson Whelpling. If you stay tuned after the initial farming portion of the video, I will go over uh, the best way to... Uh, get rid of the pet, sell it on the auction house, what we use it for, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, also we're going to go ahead and start the farming part. But make, before I do this, just so you, everybody's clear, make sure you check the links in the description below because you can buy Battle for Azeroth for the cheapest, like anywhere online. And also I have like all my microphone gear set up and all that good stuff for YouTube, so if anyone wants to check that out. So the spot you see I'm at now probably looks uh, quite familiar, actually, and that this was actually a very, very popular farm back, I want to say about six months ago. This was just all over YouTube, but not for the uh, same reason that we're going to be looking at it today. So when, and when we look at this farm, this is an instant spawn farm. It's located in wetlands right here. You, you just follow this road. I know I don't have it, you know, visible. I'm sorry, but it's just following this road to this area right here, and it's in the Eastern Kingdoms. And you come to this location right here. It's kind of on the ground. There's there's a dragon patrolling, but these spawn uh, instantly. And what we used to do back in the day is you had a monk with summon black ox uh, totem, and the monk would place it on the ground, and they would instantly respawn and run back. Now that still works, as you can see. Uh, but we're not looking for the transog piece, pieces uh, specifically. If you are a disenchanter, you can disenchant all of the greens that you get from here, and that does work well, and I have done that before. But the main thing we're looking for is the tiny crimson whelpling, because when people were farming this back in the day, they weren't really looking for the whelpling. They were kind of looking for a ton of the transmog and like wool cloth that you get from this farm. Also, in addition to all that wool cloth and all those like transmog pieces and stuff, you can also skin each one of these like lizard things right here, and uh, they will actually give you medium hide or medium leather. That actually does sell quite well in the auction house, and it's worth about nine a piece. So, uh, I definitely recommend you bring a skitter here and skin these if you want to make up just an extra, uh, you know, couple thousand gold at the end of the day. And since that leather does sell off quite quickly, it's it's going to be pretty easy for you to move on the auction house. Now the pet, on the other hand, might take a little bit, but since Battle for Azeroth, uh, the release is looming uh, upon us. In fact, actually it'll be here, I want to say about 30-ish days, <laughs> so quite soon. Um, the pet should be sold within a month, because since, you know, everyone knows when a new uh, expansion drops, all the everything starts selling on the auction house, markets go up. Uh, that's just kind of how it is, but I definitely recommend you come check this farm out today um, As you can see not really pe not I mean not many people are still kind of farming it just because they don't really know uh, the, the whole kind of loot table situation on this, but I definitely recommend you guys go do this Just maybe stock up on some battle pets that you can maybe off with in the next expansion and uh, Yeah, that is it for the farming portion and we'll see you for the next part. Bye All right, everybody we're back after that cut and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and show you the prices on my auction house right now for the Crimson Whelpling uh, in this farm. Just going to look it up. Okay. So Crimson Whelpling is going from anywhere from like uh, 20,000 gold all the way upwards of 100,000 gold on my server right now. And the reason you should stock up on uh, battle pets right now, even the tiny crimson whelpling, which is in the farm that we we're looking at, it's going for a pretty penny. Um, it the reason you should stock up on battle pets is because you have the ability to sell off a ton of them as soon as Battle for Azeroth drops, and that. When the new expansion comes out, people are looking to kind of do all the new uh, battle pet scenarios and stuff. Uh, and put we have some battle pet YouTubers and stuff that upload all their videos, uh, and they want to get that content out. And they're trying to like level new battle pets and stuff to get their way through it and all that good stuff. So normally, when the new expansion drops, we do see a big increase in selling of battle pets and stuff like that. And if you look a lot of, at a lot of the other uh, big name YouTubers, you can see them actually stocking up ad on uh, tons of battle pets as well. Namely the Crimson Whelplings and Azure Whelplings. All the Whelplings normally sell off really well. Um, they always have and they tend to always do. So 
that's why people would still farm them. And, uh, yeah, that's really why we tried that farm. You do get some translong pieces, but a lot of those items values are kind of ruined now. So the best thing you're looking to get out of it is the tiny crimson whelpling. And that's all I have for the video. If you guys did like the video, remember to leave a like, comment, maybe even subscribe uh, down below. Also, check out the links in the description below because you can buy Battle for Azeroth for the cheapest. I have that linked down there below as well as I have all my YouTube gear like my microphone, all that stuff, everything, even all the way down to my, all my computer hardware. So if you think any of that interests you, just go check that out, and I'll see every one of you beautiful people in the next one.